All right, welcome back to the channel, Met fan and baseball fans. Thank you so much for returning. Today we have a nice video about Matt Chapman, uh, what Matt Chapman brings to the table, and a potential fit that he could be on the New York Mets. Okay, so thank you again for liking and subscribing all our videos. Please, if you could do the same for this video, like and subscribe. Um, we're gonna get into the video momentarily. Um, also, uh, we are going to discuss at the end of the video uh, potential trade packages, what it might require for the Mets to potentially obtain Matt Chapman. Okay, so to get into Matt Chapman, we are going to break down him career-wise, what he brings to the table, and how he could potentially fit the Mets. All right, so Matt Chapman is a career 240 hitter. He is a 329 on base. He's a 469 slug and has a career of 797. Uh, Matt Chapman is a premier defensive player. He has won three gold gloves and he has won actually two platinum gloves. He's a one-time all-star, but bottom line, the guy is a phenom at third base. He could pick it and there is nobody better um, at third base the position defensively so we have to remember what he can bring to the table defensively but we're going to dig down deeper into the numbers last year the he was acquired by the blue jays the blue jays gave up a heck of a pa package for matt chapman um so last year how did he do last year he batted 229 324 on base he slashed um 433 slug, had 27 home run, 76 RBIs, and had a 757 OPS. So last year, he didn't have a bad season. Um, he had a 3.5 war, 117 WRC+, plus, and he sat in the 93rd percentile in exit velocity. So, I mean, he hit the ball hard. The exit velocity um, averaged 92.2. And um, he was in the 98th percentile in chase rate. And and um, let's see here. Defensively. Okay, defensively, he was named as a finalist as a gold glove. That's no surprise there. He lost out to the third baseman, Ramon Urias. Um, and he finished in the 72nd percentile in outs above average. Um, and had a fielding percentage of... 0.988, so a 988 fielding percentage, and he only had five errors. So Chapman last year was a stud. That's in line with his career. So on the Mets, if the Mets were to acquire him, he would be a stud at third base. We wouldn't have to worry about him defensively at all. He wouldn't just make the plays. He would make the extraordinary plays. So that would actually be a very good um, hole to fill. Okay, so Chapman is headed into his contract year. Um, usually guys play a little better in their contract year. It looks like Steamer projects him this year to hit look okay, a little lower than his career. They predict him to have 23 home runs, 68 RBIs, and a 7 um, 27 OPS. So that's slightly below um, some career numbers. Um, Two years ago, Chapman did have a hip issue. He had a surgery, but he's about two years removed from that, so that shouldn't be an issue going forward. But it's always good to be, uh, keep that in mind, especially us dealing with the Carlos Correa injury. We want to make sure if we acquire somebody, especially somebody that we're going to get value for, that he's going to be healthy for us. Okay, um, so Chapman going into his free agency year, the Blue Jays, obviously, they're a competitive team. So I guess depending on where they are with the standings, they're going to see whether or not they would be willing to trade him. All right, what would we be willing to give up for a guy, uh, most likely for a rental? I don't think there's any way the Blue Jays would be willing to trade him in the beginning of the year. So most likely we're going to be getting him for a two-month rental. It's going to be a little similar to two years ago. Um, so we're going to have to be careful, kind of like the Javier Baez thing. But we don't want to get ripped off like we did two years ago. So potentially, what could be the package? What I'm hearing, and this is something that I do not want to uh, go down. Um, according to uh, the Rising Apple, they say that it's going to take a package of Brett Beatty and Jet Williams to acquire a guy like Matt Chapman. And that's something I'm not willing to do. 
um, the top third base prospect in all of the major leagues. Um, and a guy like Jet Williams, a guy with all the potential in the world, a shortstop, a young guy. Uh, I believe he's 18 years old. We just drafted him last year. Um, we got him 14th overall. Um, those two guys, I would not be willing to give up for a two-month rental, especially if a guy like Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman's a very talented defensive guy, but he's not a Manny Machado. Um, he's not a guy who's going to uh, – he's not that elite player. He's elite defensively, but he's not an elite all-around player. So um, I would not be willing to do that package. So a package I would be willing to explore would be around Mark Vientos. If you want to um, add a Mark Vientos, he's a seventh-ranked prospect, and you want to throw like a Jose Budo, he's our uh, 15th rank uh, uh, pitching prospect. If you want to do a package like that, I'd be more willing to explore something around uh, that road. And I do think depending on where... Um uh, where the Toronto is, uh, based on where they are with the standings, based on uh, where they see Chapman could go in um, free agency, if they think they're going to sign him, uh, if they don't think they're going to sign him, um, and depending on where the interest is at the deadline, that may be something they are willing to take. But there is no way, no way in the world I would be willing to trade Brett Beatty unless three months, um, you know, Mets uh, get a good look at him and they feel that he's not where they see you know think he's gonna be but i i, I think that's not gonna be the case even if he did horrific a pull to jared kelenic for three months i i don't think they would be willing to give up on him so that brett Beatty package nope out the door no way for two months but if we want to do a package around mark vientos i'm willing to talk um for two months of chapman mark vientos jose budo that's a package i would be willing to discuss um, and I think that Chapman would definitely shore us up defensively, like I mentioned. And um, also, too, he's got a lot of pop. He hits the ball hard, and um, it it looks out. It looks like with some of his numbers, he had had some bad luck. Um, he's had a low batting average, but as long as you hit the ball hard, and now without the shift. You never know that 240 career average could go up to 250, 260, and that makes all the difference in the world. That means his on base percentage, which is a career 329 on base percentage, that would bump up to 340, 350. And I mean, oh my God, he would be become that all around player, third baseman, that like you know, uh, more of a complete player, and that would make all the difference, especially for us going into the postseason. And um, you know what? That would make me really excited. Um, and I'm sure that would make Mets fans excited. So right now, if you've gotten to the end of the video, I thank you so much. Please uh, hit that like button, subscribe, tell me what you think. What do you think about Matt Chapman? Um, if you have any other suggestions, uh, please let me know. Thank you so much and let's go Mets.